Rub up your engines! Well, it looks like Toyota's starting to turn into Ford. They just recalled 381,000 Tacomas because the drive shafts might fall off. Well, that's kind of a problem, you know? And guess where the Tacomas were made? Take a guess, Mexico. Ooh, the bastion of horrible quality. Hey, they used to make half of the Tacomas in San Antonio, and then they decided to move it all to Mexico. Ooh, big mistake, Toyota. A part can separate from the rear axle because it wasn't built right. Toyota said in a statement Tuesday that welding debris left in the ends of the axles can cause nuts to loosen over time and fall off. Welding debris left on. And you know what that is? Bad workmanship quality. Maybe they had a little bit too much tequila when they were doing the welding, right? And then they left pieces instead of cleaning them off. Like I say, Mexico is not the bastion of quality workmanship. It just isn't. And the only reason they're building cars down there is because it's cheaper to do. They can make them cheaper in Mexico than they can in San Antonio. So now even Toyota's being hit by the Mexican flu of bad quality of vehicles made down there. So if you own one of these, hey, watch out. Your drive shaft might fall off. I gotta go check my sons, you know? <laughs> it said the bolts might loosen, so I'll look and I'll make sure they're tight. And if there's any debris, I'll take the bolts off. Then I will grind off the debris like they should have when they did it in the first place and then re bolt them on. <laughs> Because I'm not taking any vehicles to the dealership. Who knows what those idiots will do? Yeah. <laughs> Well, old Putin has put a six-month ban on petroleum exports in Russia. <laughs> I guess they're running out of fuel. Now, the Prime Minister, Alexander Novak, said it's for planned maintenance of their refineries. Well, what really happens, it looks like the Ukrainians with their drones and stuff have blown up a bunch of the Russians' refinery, and they're running out of fuel. This all followed Ukrainian drone attacks in recent months, which kept Russia's refining capability into low low gear. They got oil coming up the wazoo, but they don't have the refined product because the Ukrainians attacked the refineries. The Russians thought they could just take over Ukraine and then the people aren't going to care. They're not stupid people in Ukraine and now they're fighting back. Now, Russia was already cutting their output by 500,000 barrels a day. In the first quarter of the year, that's part of their OPEC kind of agreement. They want to make the price stay up by not having much out there. Well, the problem is now the Russians don't have fuel left for themselves. So they have to ban exporting petroleum for the next six months. Looks like Putin put his foot in one air. <laughs> they got all this oil in Russia, but they don't have gasoline because they can't refine it. Rod L says, how do I get rid of my trouble coats? P300 and P302. Got 2010 Dodge Avenger. I changed my coils, PCV valve, spark plugs. I have the codes. I moved the fuel injectors in different positions, but they still have cylinder two miss." Fire. I did a compression test and it was good. P300 is a random misfire, but that's generally tripped. You got P0302, actually, it's got a zero in it, which means misfire in cylinder number two. You got to dodge. I can tell you it's probably happening. You're probably starting to blow the head gasket, right? A compression test isn't going to notice too much if it just started. So watch my video, How to Tell If Your Head Gasket's Blown Scott. You get one of these test tube kits, you can get them on Amazon for 40 bucks, take the radiator cap off, you put the test tube there, you pour the blue fluid, and you run it. And if it turns yellow, the fluid goes from blue to yellow, you got a head gasket leak. And that's probably what you have, and it's going to misfire because you got a head gasket leak. That's pretty typical on that. Now, it's not that. You change the coils, you change the plugs, you swapped injectors that were still number two. You could have a problem in the wiring to number two for either the ignition or the fuel injector, or you could have a fault of the driver inside the computer, the main computer. It could be that too. But do the head gasket test, that's the most common problem with that vehicle. Now, here's one I can't help but laugh. At. Wireless charging for electric cars is inching closer to reality. Soon electric car drivers will pull into a specialized parking space when it's time to power up. Okay, cell phones, right? So you plug it in and charge it, right? Electric cars, you plug in and charge. Well, then people are so lazy. Oh, no, I just want to place this down on something so it can charge it inductively, right? Well, you know how much power is inside of this thing? Not much at all all right do you know how much power is in an electric car a ton and the fact that you'd be driving this thing over and have it inductively charge up the battery is total insanity one a lot of energy is lost in the transfer now 
since it costs basically nothing to recharge a cell phone, you don't care if you lose some of that power, right? But an electric car, you're going to have to pay even more money because you're going to lose more energy when it's being done inductively like that. I mean, it's not a direct plug-in. The inductive charging, although it sounds nice, oh, no messy cables and plugs. Oh, they got a bunch of hurdles. The main one is they have very slow charging speeds. And the money to build these special stations is phenomenal compared to one where there's just there's a transformer to plug you plug it in no they got to make a grid under the car to seal it so that you can drive over and of course what comes first the chicken or the egg are they going to build a bunch of cars that can be inductively charged like that when there's no infrastructure at all now there aren't any wireless chargers out there now right or are they gonna build the wireless chargers and then build the cars yeah another cluster mess of electric vehicles you know it looks like the future it's like the jetsons and flying cars right well the jetsons were in the 1960 and we're not driving flying cars around yet really maybe it'll be just like wireless charging of evs they can put it on a tv show and science fiction but for the rest of us we're not going to be driving anything like that and I can't see anybody putting the money into the infrastructure of having an inductive charger put inside the concrete there. People have gotten carried away with those electronic nonsense and now it's going to astronomical heights of absurdity. Well it looks like Apple has given up on building their car. After a decade of work and 2,000 employees it looks like they're giving up on making their self-driving Apple car. They say that many of the people people in the 2,000 person team for their electric car that never got built, well, many of their jobs will shift to AI efforts instead, artificial intelligence, right? They're going to move everything into artificial intelligence. That's the new buzzword, AI. Now, the chief operating officer of Apple, Jeff Williams, says, well, there'll be layoffs, but they're not sure how many yet. Uh, now, in January, which is only a month and a half ago, right? Apple said, we're pushing back the launch of our electric car to 2028. Now they're pretty much saying, <laughs> keep pushing, we're never going to make the stupid thing. So, I mean, the whole idea of Apple making a car, I find this throughout history, this is the demise of many corporations. They come up with one thing and it works and they make it. Then they decide, we're going to make everything else. Why would they want to make cars? They're not in the car business, right? Well, guess what? It's biting them in the rear end. They wasted 10 years. God knows how much money and now well they're not going to be building their electric car wah 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 I think it's hilarious another company jumps off of the electric car bandwagon and back into reality all right the woke world has gone insane four comedians were canceled in a Seattle comedy club by the woke nation in Seattle who didn't like their humor it's humor you should be able to make fun of absolutely anything right that's what comedy is about these people have gone hog wild now i don't even know who these comics are dave smith louis gomez jim florentine and kurt metzger they were canceled by the capitol hill comedy show in seattle and here's what the idiots in seattle said after careful consideration and discussion with our team investors local comedians and neighborhood advocacy groups we've encountered a challenging situation that requires us to revisit the planned show capitol hill is known for its progressive values and we received significant feedback expressing concerns about the alignment of these upcoming shows with our neighborhood. These are comedians, people, right? They're making fun. I mean, these people have totally lost their minds. It's comedy, right? They say, freedom, 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 as long as you believe what we believe in. If you believe in something else, you can't talk about it. They are the most hypocritic people on the planet. They do it because they, they don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Well, these four comedians just lost their job there, you know? Sure, they're not happy, right? But it's comedy, people. Do you know what counties? Proving yet again, they're so self-absorbed with their own horse manure that they can't let other people laugh at them, right? You know what I say? Ha, 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 you woke fools. Maybe one day you will wake up and find out that you're living in a self-absorbed fantasy world that the rest of us in this country think is just plain ignorant. Hey, make fun of stuff, make fun of me, I don't care. If it's good, I'll laugh too, right? But I'm not going to say, you have to ban anybody who says bad things about Scotty. Baloney. Baloney. Especially when it's comedians doing it. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.